Hello, friends. We are back. Yeah, Joe should have done this earlier, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. But I wanted to talk about something. I was watching SmackDown, and I think SmackDown's really good. Um, liked how Paul Hannon was literally saying that there's only one champion, and it's Roman. All these guys are title holders. <laughs> and I'm like, that's, that's basic facts. And... And I'm like, wow, Paul Heyman, you literally just described how Vince McMahon feels about every single other title. Yeah, he he likes he likes giving Roman a hand Roman a ham job. Well, I mean, it's good because Roman's like important. It, he's literally carrying the championship. He's trying to give the championship the thing that it fucking needed. Yeah, but he's not giving anyone else the ch light of day. That's the problem too. Well, who else is there? All the ch guys are gone. Vince McMahon fired half of them, though. Could have gotten a chance. Daniel Bryan's retired, I believe. Yeah, I think he retired. Cesaro's still in the mid card, so he's not fucking ready yet. They're trying to build build up Cesaro by having him fight Seth multiple times to build him up, which was which is smart on their half because they did. And the it's also same. giving something Seth something to do. Because I think they're trying to do to Cesaro what they did with Drew McIntyre, and I think it was smart. Because yeah. they're like, hey, we did that with Drew McIntyre. Maybe we can do the same thing to Cesaro and see what happens. Yeah, I think that's what they're trying to do. And I don't blame them. They don't have a lot of top guys. Yeah, no. There's Kevin Owens, which is awesome. Big E, but again, also with Cesaro. He's not ready. He's not fucking ready. It's the king. Um, We do have Seth, but why the fuck would you turn him face? Oh, this is going to look cursed. His last face that... Yeah, I know this is going to look cursed. <laughs> oh, no. I see it. Um, Seth's last face one. We all know how that went. I don't want to sell. Yeah. But that's another story. Um... Bray has been gone, but but Bray actually explained apparently he had mental health problems and couldn't face with Brody Lee's death. Oh. Uh, um, he he needed it, Joe. He needed it. Yeah. And um. I think he needed to go to therapy. I think. I think. Uh... So it's gonna take a while before Bray makes his triumphant return. So. Dude. And. We can't have. Why would they put Jay Uso? Well, to if fight you think about it, cousin? if you think about it, bro, like Brody Lee and Bray Wyatt were probably pretty close. I know they were pretty close. They've been there since Florida Championship Wrestling, so they knew each other for a very long time. And a lot of people like Cesaro, and they were able to like you know cope with it and you'll know, live on. But Bray was probably the hardest on Bray. No, I think it's hard on a lot of the people in WWE and AEW because they knew him. But. I think like the, a lot of people who didn't know him yeah. knew that he was a great here's, guy. Here's the problem. Vince tried to do his best what he can with Brody Lee. The issue was what could they have done? They did this emotional speech things, but they're like, how do we dedicate a guy who we barely who's fucking... not even on our television program anymore? Yeah. Because if they did that. That that would prove to people that they're copying off of AEW. Not even that, bro. Like they 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 did the death for New Jack, and New Jack hasn't been in the WWE whatsoever. They just had Paul Heyman do the elegy because again, Paul Heyman because New Jack is very controversial. He is. There was no way he was going to be in the WWE. There was no way in hell. No fucking way. Even Vince McMahon was. Terrified. He was fucking afraid of afraid New Jack. Afraid of New Jack. Because of all the controversy he holds. Says the guy who has a lot of controversy on him. Yeah. However, he was scared of a man of New Jack. That, that says volumes. Actually, I think... That says volumes of how Vince McMahon will take it as far as he can. Vince is smart. He's not a fucking old man. Thorn. Oh, no. Oh, no, Joe. This is bad. You might want a pair of Thorn and him, yeah, Bob. If of course. you could. Because this is getting bad. Hmm. That's what I think. I mean, I'm talking about wrestling, and I'm sorry. I know wrestling's not like a real sport anymore, and you guys don't care about it. I'm sorry. It's something that I'm a little bit passionate about. I mean, A dub's fine. I don't think it's the greatest show. It's okay. It's fine. 
SmackDown is a little bit great. I love the promos. Um, the building they put up with Tamina and Natalia, which I think is fucking brilliant. The way they're pushing Cesaro is fucking amazing. They are pushing that fucking uppercut and that fucking swing, which is very important tools for Cesaro's moveset, because that uppercut, it can fucking clean through everything, my guy. And when he did an uppercut, straight up ran in uppercut, and it was like, I'm like, that's fucking brilliant, using the uppercut, using the fucking swing, using the neutralizer, like, that, that's his bread and butter, those three moves. The uppercut, the neutralizer, and the fucking swing are his literal bread and butter. Now we go back to the king. Yes, we go back to the king. Yes, and I called him thick. What are you going to do about it, Joe? You can't do anything about it. I called no, him I can't. Thick. I, don't, I don't upload the video, so I can't do anything about it. I'm the one who fucking, yeah, I'm the one who fucking uploads the video. I, I do whatever I want. We gave him all this back his face. He needs to lose some fucking weight. Jesus, get out of our face! <laughs> what? He's looking in the mirror. Oh. That is restored. Alright, I'm gonna let the dude. By giving me two thousand dollars. That's not enough. Ugh. No, he's not. Now we can talk to Princess. Oh no, the princess is gonna get her face on. Oh no. I remember who the princess is. Oh no. Okay, she looks fine. Julie Pop. She's the only fine looking fucking person in this game. Is Wario okay? Yes. Yes, we will do your thing. Nukus. God damn it, Joe. It's up here, fucking Nukus. The knuckles. The fucking nipples. You gotta fight it. Yes. Fine. Is that a rare enemy that gives you a lot of gold? Yes. If I kill it. Well, you better fucking kill it. You're Are you okay? Thorn. We literally gotta leave in like a couple hours, so. Better just record a session quick. Could you jump slash? So you want me to work tomorrow? Yeah. Nice. Killed the enemy. Bev. That fucking mare, though. Oof! There's Wario.
got his fucking shit kicked in. We'll see you guys in the next video. Remember guys, stay crispy.